the first thing you want to do is figure out a way to survive. Glenda Reimer, her sister Sandy Wilkin, and Sandy's daughter Mallory are very familiar with gastric cancer. Our dad died at 75, our brother died at 50, our cousin dies, died at 50. She had young children. We get days that they did not. They are at the National Cancer Institute, helping researchers better understand the disease. Glenda was diagnosed with cancer and lost her stomach. Sandy and Mallory removed their stomachs because they were at high risk for developing the disease. Otherwise, you tolerate food, no problem. No problem. Dr. Charles Rapkin from the National Cancer Institute and co-authors studied gastric cancer rates in a quarter of U.S. adults, aged 25 to 84, for 30 years, from 1977 to 2006. The study uh, confirmed the uh, previously recognized decline in gastric cancer overall. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. We did identify a worrying increase in the youngest age group of Caucasians, 25 to 39, in whom gas, uh, cancers of the lower stomach actually increased about 3% per year. It's known as non-cardiogastric cancer, and it's mostly caused by an infection in the lining of the stomach from the bacteria Helicobacter pylori. We're concerned that there may be either a new cause for gastric cancer in that population, or perhaps some difference in their Helicobacter pylori infection that's contributing to a, a new risk for gastric cancer. These women still don't know why the disease has gripped their family, but they are determined to protect future generations by helping doctors figure it out. and to live full and active lives. I have plenty of goals for my life and plenty of things that I want to do. And just because I don't have a stomach or just because this is going on, it's not going to change any of that. It's not going to change me at all. I'm not going to let it. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.